In this video, I'm gonna show you how to grow your YouTube channel fast. In fact, I use the strategies from this video to grow my channel to 200,000 views per month. And those views generate over 7,000 new subscribers every single month. I'm Brian Dean, the founder of Backlinko, the place where marketers turn for higher rankings and more traffic. And if you wanna grow your channel in record time, you'll love the actionable tips from today's video. Stay tuned. When I first started my YouTube channel, I had no idea what I was doing. So I did what anyone would do in my situation. I Googled things like how to grow a YouTube channel and how to get more views. And there was no shortage of articles, blog posts, YouTube videos, and courses that showed me how to get started. But as my channel grew, this type of beginner's content was less and less helpful. And it seemed like the vast majority of the content on YouTube was designed for people that just started their channel. To be clear, there's nothing wrong with being a newbie. I was one myself. But what if you're already doing well on YouTube and you wanna take your game to the next level? In other words, what if you wanna go from 1,000 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers? Or 10,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers and beyond? Well, that's why I decided to make this video. This video is made up of 100% advanced strategies that you can use to take your existing channel to the next level. And it's full of lessons and strategies that I learned from growing my channel over the last six years. So without further ado, let's kick things off with strategy number one, focus 100% on suggested video. Casey Neistat, Jenna Marbles, Mr. Beast. Most of the channels that you see that come out of nowhere to dominate use suggested video to do it. As you probably already know, suggested video is a section on YouTube that shows up on the right side of a video or underneath that video on mobile. As it turns out, you can get way more views from suggested video than you could from YouTube search. For example, I currently rank at the top of YouTube for popular keywords like SEO, link building, how to get more views on YouTube, and more. And despite ranking for all those terms, my channel gets more views from suggested video than from SEO. In fact, my channel gets 28.4% of its views from search and 34% from suggested video. And the best way to get more suggested video views, the sequel technique. The sequel technique is where you find a video in your niche that's already getting a ton of views. And then you create a better version of that video. As long as you use some of the same keywords in your title, tags, and video description, you have a good chance of ranking next to that video in the suggested video section. For example, let's say you run a health and fitness channel and you notice a video about the keto diet that's getting a ton of views. Well, you'd wanna figure out what made that video popular and improve on it. You can make your video more in depth, more up to date, or pretty much anything that will make your video better than the original. Finally, optimize your video around the same keywords as the popular video and you're good to go. For example, this video on my channel has half a million views and I got most of those views thanks to this exact technique. Which leads us to our second strategy to help grow your YouTube channel, strategy number two, cross-pollination. This is one of the most underrated strategies on the planet. What you're doing with cross-pollination is sending followers from places that already follow you to new platforms. And when you do this consistently, instead of having all of your followers on a single platform, your audience will grow across multiple different platforms. For example, when I published this video, I let my email subscribers know about it, which led to thousands of views on the first day. And I even promote my YouTube channel when I do guest interviews on podcasts or on other YouTube channels. But I also cross-pollinate from my YouTube channel to other platforms that I'm active on. As you can see here, I linked my Twitter account in every video description. So here's why this is important for YouTube growth. There's obviously a ton of potential to grow your channel from within YouTube's platform. But if you rely 100% on YouTube to get views, you're probably gonna grow slower than you want, which is why you wanna send followers from other platforms to your channel. And depending on your audience on those different platforms, you can get hundreds or even thousands of fresh eyeballs on your new videos. And like I mentioned earlier, you also wanna cross pollinate your YouTube subscribers to other platforms that you're on. Why? It gives people another way to find out about your new videos. As you already know, just because someone subscribes to your channel doesn't mean they're automatically gonna find out about every video that you publish. But when that person follows you on Twitter, likes your Facebook page, and subscribes to your email list, and you share your videos on all of those platforms, that person is almost guaranteed to learn about every new video that you upload. And now it's time for strategy number three, step up your production value. The first few videos that I uploaded to YouTube look like this. Yeah, 
not great. To shoot those videos, I asked a buddy of mine to come over to my house with his DSLR camera, and I just sort of said my thoughts about SEO. Not only did those videos look rough, and I desperately needed to get a haircut, but there was very little structure to each video. I just kind of winged it. And because of that, my content was all over the place. And even though I'm a little bit embarrassed to show people that video today, I'm glad I published it. When you're just starting out on YouTube, one of the keys is just to figure out what does and doesn't work for you and your audience. And the only way to do that is to record using the skills and equipment that you have on hand. But as your channel grows, your production value needs to grow with it. For example, flash forward to today and I record all my videos at a high-end recording studio. And I work with professional video editors and animators to make my videos look and sound great. I also write a detailed script to keep my delivery on point. This script literally contains every word that I'm gonna say, including this line that you're reading right now. To be clear, you definitely don't need to go all out on production value. The goal here is to gradually step up your production value as your channel grows. For example, if you look at MKBHD, his videos look great, but when you compare his recent stuff to his earlier videos, you can see a big difference. And it's the same story for Mr. Beast, Jenna Marbles, and Dude Perfect. The bottom line, if you're serious about growing your YouTube channel, you need to constantly try to improve your production value. This could mean investing in a new camera, new mic, or a lighting set. Or it could be something as simple as writing a detailed outline before you shoot. Again, the goal here isn't to become the next James Cameron or Steven Spielberg. As long as you're gradually improving the production value of every video that you publish, you're on the right track. Which leads us to strategy number four, bog P thumbnails. In the grand scheme of things, will thumbnails make or break your YouTube channel? Probably not. But just like with production value, you wanna spend more time in your thumbnails as you grow. Why? According to the YouTube Creator Academy, well-designed thumbnails attract more fans to your channel and encourage viewers to watch through your videos. Sounds pretty important to me. Specifically, I recommend focusing on what I call bog P thumbnails. Bog P thumbnails are thumbnails that are primarily made up of the colors blue, orange, green, purple, and yellow. So why do you wanna focus on these colors? Because they're colors that you don't find that often on YouTube. That's because the YouTube platform itself is mostly red, black and white. And if you use those same colors in your thumbnails, they'll just blend in. On the other hand, thumbnails made up of orange, yellow, green, and blue really stand out. For example, my original thumbnails were pretty boring. There weren't any colors that stood out. Flash forward to today, and my thumbnails are mostly green with some purple and blue mixed in now and again. And because my thumbnails stand out, According to my YouTube analytics, my videos tend to get a pretty decent click-through rate. And now it's time for strategy number five, assemble a team. Despite what your parents might think, growing a YouTube channel is a lot of work. As a creator on YouTube, you need to come up with new topics for videos, plan out every video, set up your recording area, shoot every video, edit every video, add graphics, animations, and color correction, write SEO-friendly titles, descriptions, and tags, promote each video on social media, and moderate and reply to comments that come in. And I'm probably forgetting a bunch of stuff. And when you're first starting out, you probably did all this stuff yourself, which is totally okay. But if you wanna grow your channel, you need to get help with at least some of these steps. Which steps you outsource and which steps you do yourself depends on what you're best at. In my case, I'm not good with anything technical, which is why I work with an animator and editor to make sure my videos look great. And like I said, back in the day, I used to shoot my videos at home. I bought a bunch of box lights and soundproofing to make the videos look and sound pretty decent. And yeah, those videos ended up looking okay, but it was a huge pain to set everything up and then take it down. Which is why today I go to a recording studio where I just show up, step in front of the camera, and get awesome footage that looks great. But this doesn't mean you need to outsource everything. In my case, I'm really good at SEO, so I still pick all of my keywords and optimize every video myself. Maybe in your case, you're a master at editing. In that case, I wouldn't outsource that part. Instead, maybe you wanna get someone to help make your thumbnails or to help write SEO-friendly titles and descriptions. The takeaway here is this. Your channel can't grow if you continue to do everything yourself. So outsource the stuff that you're not great at so you can focus on the things you crush. And now it's time for our last strategy, strategy number six, create a clear channel brand. In other words, you wanna make sure that your channel has a unique look and feel. A look and feel that people can instantly recognize. For example, I try to make all of my branding consistent from my channel art to my channel trailer to the animations and graphics 
in my videos. Marie Forleo's channel also does a great job at this. Everything about her channel is super unique and consistent. Again, this isn't a huge deal if you're just starting out. In the early days of my channel, nothing matched. It was all random, which is okay if you're new to YouTube. But if you want to become a professional, your channel needs to look professional. So right now, do a quick audit of your channel's visual assets. Specifically, look at these elements of your channel and see if they all match up. If so, great. If not, that's something that it start to work on. Okay, so before we close out this video, I've got a quick bonus strategy for you. Increase your average view duration. Improving your average view duration is a great way to get more views and subscribers. Why? Well, when you upload videos that keep people watching, YouTube will promote your videos across YouTube automatically. In fact, YouTube states that videos that get watched for long periods of time tend to get promoted on the platform. And the best way to increase average view duration, create longer videos. Seriously, longer videos almost always have a longer average view duration compared to short videos. Why? Because math. For example, take two videos with the exact same audience retention, 50%. If one of the videos is significantly longer than the other, it's gonna rack up a higher average view duration. For example, check out this video from my channel. It's almost 20 minutes long, which is way longer than most other videos on this topic that tend to be about four to five minutes long. And because my video is long, my average view duration is actually over five minutes which is one of the reasons that this video has over 500,000 views. To be clear, I'm not recommending that you pad your videos with fluff and filler. That's gonna do more harm than good. Instead, the goal is to cover pretty much everything there is to know about a topic in a single video. So there you have it, seven ways to take your YouTube channel to the next level. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. And if you want exclusive SEO and traffic techniques that I only share with subscribers, head over to backlinko.com and hop on the newsletter. It's free. Now, I wanna turn it over to you. Which strategy from today's video are you gonna to use to grow your YouTube channel? Are you gonna boost your production value or try putting out longer videos? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.